Hi, I'm Michael Janich from Blackhawk Products Group, the category manager for knives. I'm also the founder of Marshall Blade Concepts, and I'm here with you today uh, for Officer.com as part of Marshall Blade Concepts. Share a few ideas with you as far as opening techniques for tactical folding knives. The tactical folding knives, when you look at the most common opening techniques, what you're going to find is some type of a thumb stud or a hole or a disc or some type of purchase for your thumb. And that gives you the first basic opening method, which is a simple thumb opening. Now what you want to do on this is make sure that whatever knife you choose, the thumb, thumb stud is placed high enough above the pivot pin to give you a good leverage point. You also want to make sure that when you drive with your thumb that you are simply driving straight forward. Don't try to trace in an arc because a straight drive is gross motor skills. It's more reliable under stress. Trying to go in an arc doesn't work really well. Okay, so straight drive, that's your thumb opening. You can also take this if you like reverse grip skills. Reverse grip is basically where you'd have the blade extending from the little finger side of the hand. You can take the same concept as the thumb opening and apply that with your ring finger. So what you're doing is gripping the knife, typically placing your thumb into the groove of the, uh, the clothing clip right here. You're going to place your ring finger on the uh, thumb stud and you're going to drive with the ring finger to open it into reverse grip. So again, what we've got there is you would draw the knife into this position, the butt of the knife is facing up, the back of the closed blade is facing forward, and you use your ring finger to drive that to open it into a reverse grip with the edge facing forward. Another type of opening that you'll see sometimes is actually better demonstrated with a knife that has a hole in the blade, either a Spyderco hole or a slotted hole, uh, like on this Blackhawk Blades BHB40. What you're doing there is you're basically gripping the handle or excuse me, gripping the blade and swinging the handle down. So you grip here, swing the handle down into this position, and now what you want to do is bring the knife back to your hip, bounce it off of there to be able to get it into a using grip. This works best with knives that carry in a tip-down orientation. So with this clipped in the pocket, tip down, I'd actually be reaching in, grabbing the entire knife by this portion of the blade, turn the butt of the, the handle up, swing the handle down, and then I would reposition to grip it that way. That grip, because you're gripping a smaller surface area like this, it's not one of my preferred opening techniques, but it still can be very functional. Now my favorite opening techniques are inertial openings. With inertia, what you're doing is you're basically taking the entire knife, rotating it around the pivot pin, and then stopping the handle so the inertia of the blade continues to open. Now you see a lot of people when they do this, they're whipping their hand this way, or they're using a lot of elbow motion and everything like that. What you want to remember is the blade is always going to pivot at the pivot pin. So if I simply remember to pivot it around that point and do it quickly, I can pop the knife open very easily. So all I have to do is think of stabilizing that pivot pin, learn how to move my arm around that. Once I've got that down, the knife will pop open with inertia. What works in standard grip also works in inertia in, in uh, reverse grip. So in this case, what I'm doing is going from a palm up position to a palm down position to pop the knife open this way. So with inertial openings, what's great about it is you don't actually have to touch the thumb stud or the hole or anything of that nature. You simply have to grab the handle of the knife. And when you put this together, what's great is I can place the knife in my pocket here and I simply draw open and go. It's a very, very quick way to get the knife into action. It is a little bit harder on the knife. A lot of companies will say that they will not honor the warranty of the knife if you've done a lot of inertial openings. But again, the payoff of being able to get your knife into action quickly and of course, maintaining your equipment, making sure that it is in good condition. If you do happen to wear it out sooner, you buy another knife. These are a couple of different ideas as far as the most common uh, tactical openings you find, one-handed openings with a little bit of practice, integrating this into your draw stroke, integrating it into your overall system of personal combatives. You can get your knife out very, very quickly when you need it.